Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Alina. Now, I was watching a video on Goldie Hawn, right? Goldie Hawn was in a master class and she was talking about how in her first interview as an audition, like she went to New York and somebody saw her and, and said, you have to meet my boss. They can put you in a movie. You are a star. You belong in movies. And of course, who wouldn't be excited about that? She was 19. She was very excited about it. She was looking very forward to it. So anyway, she met up with this guy that was the producer. And he was like, he had one leg. First of all, he had like a wooden peg leg for the other leg. But anyway, he had one leg. That's kind of outside the story, but, um, but that's just what he was like. And so he was like, you know, and then he keeps like, I want to exhibit something more comfortable. So she's like, you know, feeling awkward about it. Just like, why do you need to get him something more comfortable? But she's like, whatever. Maybe he's just really trying to relax. Maybe he's tired. He had a long day, whatever. So she just ignored it. Then he's like, go over there and lift your skirt up. And then she's like, okay. And then lift it up more and more and more. And it got to the point where she couldn't lift it up anymore without revealing anything. So she's like, I'm sorry, but I can't do this. I don't feel comfortable with this. And he basically said to her, you're not going to be in film. You don't belong in film. You're not going to be any, you're not going to be anything in Hollywood, you know, get out, whatever. So anyway, at one point she ended up being in movies and doing stuff. And so she ended up, uh, I forget what the situation was. I think she was like, she had to talk to him about, I guess she might have messaged him saying that she got a movie. I'm not sure why she had to message him. I'm not sure if it was because, um, she just wanted to prove to him that she got in, regardless of his, you know, innuendos getting her to go in because of what he wanted to do with her. So she got in, she didn't have to do anything risque or like, uh, she wasn't actually assaulted by anyone to get in. And so she was really happy, right? But, and then she ended up dating Kurt Russell, who was gorgeous. And they stayed together for a long time. They're still together now and they look great. They're happy. And so she always lived the life that she wanted to live because she said no at a point where, like he basically said to her, you're not going to be in movies. And she's like, I guess, oh yeah, this is why she said that. Okay, so she said that she was going to marry a Jewish dentist. That's what she wanted to do. And then he's like, I guess you have to marry a Jewish dentist. And then she's like, got into movies. So she's like, I guess I'm not marrying, a, she just said this, I guess I'm not marrying a Jewish dentist after all, right? Because she's in movies. She has to pick a letter who she wants to marry. Not that there's anything wrong with a Jewish dentist, but anyway, I don't know why she made it seem like it was bad. But anyway, she's like, I guess she can date Hollywood stars now. So she's like really happy, right? And she's like rubbing it in, 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 in like a reflection back on that time period. And she's thinking, I guess we don't have to marry a Jewish dentist anymore, right? So anyway, the problem with Hollywood, there's nothing wrong with Hollywood. It's great. It's awesome. But a lot of people that are producers or film directors or whatever feel like they have to get with the actors or actresses because they're gorgeous. First, like she was gorgeous at the time. But anyway, they feel like they have to do that because the, that what well, like they would they would feel like what's the point of hiring somebody unless they're gorgeous and want to do something to get the role. And of course, you know, looking back on all this now. You know, with Harvey Weinstein, the Me Too movement, right? Like, uh, you know, people are like, oh, you know, now they're like, people can get in trouble for these things, you know? It's really kind of scary for a lot of people because they felt like, where are they going to complain? Who are they going to complain to, you know? There's no one they can complain to because these people choose the Hollywood movie stars. So they're like, there's no way I can complain. So, you know, it's really kind of nice to see the Me Too movement and people being able to make their say, you know, Goldie Hawn obviously was able to say that this is something that was really, you know, unfortunate that it happened. And who wants to be like in a movie because they did something they didn't want to do, right? Anyway, she got away. She was able to make her career happen without him. And she lived a happy life. She's still living a happy life. Anyway, totally enjoy my now. Bye, everyone. Bye guys, totally enjoy.